final shouts from the crowd. And Paul Bowler begins his competition. And has to hang on desperately, almost came out of the area. That was a fair recovery. himself a little and this forces him to do so much better step back but a question of recovery from Paul Bowler who very nearly came out of the area in a sitting position at the end of the first tumble run into the double layout shape and that's when the problem started on the landing really worked to keep it in the area Double tuck back. Such a pity that the first and last impression the judge has is of a mistake. Paul Bowler, who was injured in uh, Barcelona, which was unfortunate, reduced team by one, meant that everybody's score had to count. Team competition there, and indeed he was part of the uh, squad in Indianapolis for the 91 World Championships. But these are individual championships. Battle to make the top 24. And he starts with an 8.925. There's Valeri Belenki, the bronze medalist from Barcelona. Igor Korobczynski. Here's Valery Belenki. He starts on the rings. And the man putting in there is the great Dmitry Bilicertiev. Powerful start. Has a powerful upper body development and rings one of his better exercises had a super year in 1990 did Belenki faded somewhat since then but that's a good opener for him full twisting double straight somersault Good control of rings. The dismount, full twisting, double straight back. 9.3 is the score for Valeri Belenki. Performing for the Ukraine now is Igor Korobczynski. World champion in 1989. Failed to make the top group in Indianapolis because of a failure on the pommel horse. And that stayed with him. He didn't make the top group either at the Olympic Games. So a young man with a bit to prove. Now 23 years old, Igor Korobczynski. Well, he took bronze here in Barcelona. This one of his better apparatus. Nine. 
Good double pike. Half a windmill to finish. <laughs> Good start. One and a quarter spins in that Diamandov. Straddling through the handstand. He does achieve a good line on the parallel bars. A good opening score for Korobczynski for that performance on the parallel bars, 9.5. Now, oh, this is a test for Paul Bowler. Have to battle the hang on in the opening piece of apparatus, the floor. Second is the pommel horse. Starts well, flares with spindles, and now into the back travel. Zivardo travel after the Hungarian he did it first. Safely through the shears. And I think there's a little bit of very quick thinking there from Paul Bowler. Didn't quite look comfortable in the handstand position. Very swiftly moved his hands through the pirouette. And Coach Colin Lee will be saying, good thinking. Double leg circling. And he breaks there into the flare skill. The aim being to get as much leg separation as possible. Paul Bowler, 8.425. So, second piece of apparatus for Belenki. And he vaulted well. Sukahara with full twist. One level down from top difficulty, but he coped with it marvellously. And he gets 9.4. This is the Cuban, Eric Lopez Rioz. That was amazing. He tried to get three twists into that Sukahara. That's a first. So does that qualify as a, a Lopez Rios? Certainly does. There's the round off. A triple twisting Sukahara. A first. 9.45 given to uh, Lopez Rios for his virtuosity. Third piece of apparatus for Paul Bowler. Up to the rings. been working on his strength elements. <laughs> Seated or half leave across. Needs to be slightly lower though in the inverted cross. Into the meat of the exercise, the swings. Oh, there's a problem. Looking at his guards there, uh, did they snap or? only ever seen that once and that was many many years ago the guard actually snapped let's see now they have a dowel underneath the guard it might well have slipped that dowel makes the grip and if it comes adrift so do they but whatever the reason he will have lost five tenths. <laughs> Showed a lot of maturity there. All the exercise together. Still discussing it. Full twisting double straight, Paul Bowler. 
8.625. And you look at that score and think what might have been. So no change at the top. The position at the halfway stage, Belenki leading Korobczynski. German having a bit to say with Khan and Karbonenko in the top five. Igor Korobczynski coming to a piece of apparatus on which he can perform quite superbly. Multiple circles on one handle. During travelling with spindles, complex. Well up with the difficulty requirements. We break now into the flare skills. The dismount sequence that cost him once. But not this time. He needed that performance. Full flowing Korovczynski. Too many smiles from him, though. The Russian wanting a, an adjustment on the springboard before his fault. Very square physique. Look at the definition. Dominoes. And it's a handspring double front somersault. But that's such a difficult ball to control. Golly, he smacked into the ball then. Harkov showed us this first way back in 88 in Seoul. How long is a piece of tape? 9.4 is the answer. Igor Korobczynski, now of the Ukraine. 9.275. Well, the pommel horse is going well, but is he going well enough to be ahead of Belenki? Belenki's next piece of apparatus is one on which the man with him excelled. And he'll know exactly what to look for on this release. The pike Gaylord, forward somersault over the bar. Search if moves, but he's not needed. Just to hold it together through the sequence towards the dismount. Interesting double straight, step forward. <laughs> Where is the master judge? He said. <laughs> and uh, meet you, Bitter Zetchev. Goes off with him, because these days uh, there's a limit on the number of one-arm swings. He wouldn't have had that problem. That was the Pike Gaylord. It swings well from it. 9.125 the score for Belenki. He stays ahead of Korovczynski. That's what this particular round is about. Two rotations to go in this round. And it's the former Soviet republics who are battling it out. Belenki leading Korovchinsky, who leads Khan, who leads the Russian Karbonenko. Rings is where Igor Korovchinsky will be. Had a reputation when he was in the CIS team of being slightly more tense than the others. Wasn't as uh, popular with the rest of the group. He seems to have maintained that, at least during competition. I think he gets very angry at himself and uh, finds it difficult to socialise. High in the inverted cross. Now, he won't get credit for that. But after the difficult combinations, and he bent his arms badly. Lack of concentration, and he won't be pleased with this routine. Started better than Belenki. His first piece of apparatus produced a 9 5. 
but he's gone back since. Double pike front somersault, the Ollison between the rings to handstand. But struggled to keep them under control. If he could hold that position, he'd get bonus. Larry Valenki comes to the floor. Takes the floor would be better. Interesting double straight or double layout somersault. Oh, lovely brisk link. Power in the planche. Control in the handstand. Slightly overcooked the uh, straight front somersault. Having to show a balance between forward and backward tumbles. And not really holding that for two seconds. And a double pipe back. Completes it all. Light. Signs of a pout. Not too pleased with himself, Mitch. Unsettled on some of the major tumbles. That was the start. Snatched it just a little. Full twisting double straight. Deep landing. Slipped to the side to recover. Korobczynski, 9.05 for rings. First position, it says, but that doesn't take into account Belenki's score yet. Belenki, 9.05, good enough to keep him in the lead in this group. Here's Khan. Sivaro travel. Look at the complex hand placements. Swings fast and light. And the judges will be looking for lots of double leg combinations and hand placements on one handle. Flair combination, but that handstand was slightly too easy in an exercise of uh, that character. There's not a lot of room on those handles. And this dismount needed to be more difficult. It wouldn't surprise me if he left out the pirouette. 9.3. To Carbonenko, the parallel bars. And the armbands give us a clue as what's to come. That, a double back somersault. And the double front. Security in the handstand. The double pike back somersault is a good effort. Plenty of difficulty. Very few errors. Under somersault towards handstand with straight arms. The flying back roll. And the double back to catch. Carbaranko, 9.425. Now that's putting a bit of pressure on the top two. Excellent score from the parallel bars. Well, sounds for the start of the final rotation. Valenki leads from Korovchinsky, Khan in third place, Karbonenko in fourth. Valenki's last piece, the pommel horse. And probably his best.
world champion he was in 91. And the legs are glued together. Multiple changes on one handle. That's the mark of the, uh, the virtuoso on this apparatus. control of the dismount sequence has he done enough before the problem occurred lost tension in the arms bent his arms and the feet moved out of the line of the pommel horse and you can see he almost cleared the mats shoulders way out of line Valenki 9.2 Seven five, and that's good enough to put him into the lead of all the gymnasts who've performed so far. Marius Gehrman came down on the Palmer horse, eight point six seven five, eight point eight five for the rings, and that followed two scores in excess of nine for the high bar and the floor. Looking for a good finish on the vault. Double twisting Sugahara, his old favourite. Lays the shoulder back, tries to get as low as he can on the horse, slightly high on, but safely negotiated the two twists. Gammon score 9.4. And that puts him currently in fourth place. But this man yet to go, Carbonanko. And the coach nowhere to be seen. Good twisting combination, recovered it well, hops across the bar to get to the right position for the release, which is a Kovac. He shuffles along the bar, though. He'll need to nail this. Triple back somersault. Edges it forward. It's the squat dislocate. Into full twist. Another twisting sequence which almost caused him severe problems. He did well to control it. And there's the little hop to regain the position for the release. 9.3, it took a long time the score to come up for, for Carbonanko. And that puts him in third place at the moment. Igor Korobczynski ends his qualifying competition on the vault. The handspring double front, and he comes to grief. Came on the horse rather high. Couldn't really convert the fight upwards to give himself enough room to rotate twice. 8.925 is the score for Korobczynski. So Valery Belenki winning this particular group, the gymnasts in the third round of the qualifying competition. So we're at the halfway point. Polenki, Liukin, Korobczynski, the top three, with Karbonenko going above the younger Russian, Alexei Nemov, who may well not be in the all-round competition because Sergei Harkov still has to come for Russia and only the top two from each country are allowed to compete. But a mass of former Soviet Union athletes at the head of affairs at the moment. It's likely to stay that way. Let me get you up.